<laughs> yes. Greetings, greetings, everyone. Welcome to a Thursday night live stream. Welcome to Coop Live. I hope everybody's doing really, really good. We got some high energy here in the room, and I cannot wait to get something done this evening. With me, as always, are my intrepid partners, Foxbot Games and Aerodyne Tribal. Fox, how are you doing today? Tired. You you unpacked a mattress. I did. Yeah, that sounded exhausting. Just you describing it to me. So yeah, it was. Um, what it kind? was backpacked. <laughs> Is it the kind where you uh, uh, open up the bag and it expands and takes over the room? <laughs> it came in a foot by foot by maybe ten foot box. Yeah. It was heavy <laughs> as all heck. And when I pulled it out of the box, it was vac packed. So I, I like Ooh. cut little holes in the plastic trying to slowly get it to inflate without taking me away. Yeah, um, I, I can definitely sympathize with that one. We had a um, foam mattress. The wife and I got a foam mattress off of Amazon, of all places. And um, uh, we got uh, this thing that was in a, uh, yeah, it was about a one foot by one foot by about three and a half foot or four foot, something like that box. And um, actually, it's probably like six feet. No, it wasn't because it was folded in half. That's the weird thing. It was about three and a half feet. Um, so you open up the box and it's this thing that was shrink wrapped and you cut the shrink wrap and it not only un it not only unrolls, but it unfolds like it was half folded in half down the middle and this giant oh. foam bed thing just kind of inflates and <laughs> so if you open it up in the wrong place, it's bad news. Uh, so yeah, it was yeah, 80 pounds. Exactly. Yeah. Yikes. We've done that before, says the wife. Um, so yeah, that's cool. New bed. That's awesome. Hopefully it'll help you get some sleep. Uh, 15 bits from Mohanzi already opening up the volleys early. Uh, Aridani, how was your day? They got the fires out in your neighborhood, right? In your area, yes. your neighborhood, literally. Yeah. Mm. It is very, very good to hear. Um, Mr. Aridani and I tortured our brains and played EverQuest 1 earlier this afternoon. It was <laughs> gloriously it was, bad. It, it was fun in a weird way. <laughs> yes. I really do equate that you log in and the graphics and the, the old UI, the old style UI, it really is like getting poked in the eye initially. It's like, ah, you know, startling. And you have to kind of blink and let your brain adjust for a second. But yeah. Um, if they could just update the UI and the graphics, I'd go back and play that game way more often. Probably. Me too. Um, I've done a little bit of contouring of the landscape. Actually, I don't know. There's parts of that game that are still just a bit too old school for me now. Um, maybe, I don't know, maybe if I had an easier to use user interface, I would, yeah. Good grief, people, I think the ads are working. 15 yeah, the ads <laughs> are working for me. Yeah, 15 from Ohanzi, 10 from, uh, Miss Moab, 15 from Dragon Racer, 5 from Aridani Tribal. I thrive on competition, bring it on. <laughs> um, I did some contouring the landscape and filling into some water holes that we've got dotting around. I've still got, like, a couple of dozen more I need to fill in. Cause they just look gross. Uh, I set ground level basically for what's going to be, I think entrance to uh, uh, the main building itself. So we can start figuring out the landscape around front and we can start actually putting in a floor. Um, Fox, you've got what looks to be a closed in office building. It's closed. The floors aren't completely done. I'm like Ooh. three floors beneath the executive suite. Yeah. The sun rays came out really nice. I like them. Yeah. Nice and bright. Um, so we've got this. He is going to be working on it now. Do you want us to like move in legit this evening or do you want to do that in between this stream and next stream? Um, that depends on what you guys want. Uh, and it depends on when we when I can finish this. <laughs> So you're going to be working on finishing that some, or do you want to take a break and do something else? I am currently building it. <laughs> it's just the carpet and dark oak ceiling, so. Yeah. Um, Meanwhile, yeah, after all, like, a week, I, I finally got the bees done because everything blew up over the... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did push. By the way, before I forget, there is a new update, version 1.0.5. 
Um, it is flagged as beta. I would not download it yet. We still need to test it. But I'm confident that it is going to be okay. It has been uploaded and approved by Curse. We will be updating uh, a test server. We Yeah, I'm going to wind up a test server for our test server. Don't ask. And um, we're going to test a, a, a copy of this world image there. And... Um, uh, then we're going to see, just to make sure things don't blow up, we are also running on a new backup system, as you can probably see in the check, text window right here. Um, we actually have a new backup mod that we're using to make sure, triply sure, that we have backups for our backups for our backups. Um, so, the bee yard that Mr. Eridani has been working on. Um, I got this Eve right here across the top evened out. Um, it has been... Uh, um, uh, set up properly like uh, this other one was over here we've got a bank of 3 by 3 industrial apiaries that we can trick these things out put bees in them we can set these things up with light upgrades and sky upgrades and stuff like this so bees will run 24 7 the rest of the yard is just boring apiaries and there's basically a pipe coming out the bottom coming up through a loamy grass cover and into the side and it's just looping the bees and the the uh, drones and princesses in. That's all these things are doing. All these are set up the same way. Right now there's forest bees in here and these two are meadow bees because we don't have much of a, a variety right now. The only other bees we've got uh, we got uh, some steadfast and some other weird ones. But we got marshy but it's too dry up here and uh, it is, we don't have the right flowers for them. They I think they need lily pads or something. So, gotcha. Yeah, I'm not sure what. I, I'm, I'm guessing lily pads. Anyway, and that's where genetic engineering comes in handy, and that's when you come downstairs. Yeah, <laughs> dark preacher, 15 bits, bits for all. <laughs> um, people are going bit crazy. Um, yeah, Dragon Racer uh, says to uh, Fox about your building. He says it's a very Empire State Building uh, ish box uh, with the top deco, and then I think it was partially. Empire State Building and partially Chrysler Building that we were using for inspiration. Now, okay, what is this rat's nest of wires and cables? Okay, basically the only three machines you'll need access to to do any kind of work are these three at the front. That's why I put these three at the very front. Okay. Uh, the one on the right will break down excess bees into uh, liquid DNA. One right. in the middle will analyze a bee for all of its genetic traits. And, and the one on the left will uh, incubate a larva bee into a, a full-grown bee. Okay, incubator. Everything else is just automation. Wait a minute. So the, the gene pool machine is the one that liquefies bees? Yes. Okay. And then the one in the middle analyzes what we've got. I should probably run some stuff through there already. Um, yeah. Everything okay. else is for the automation of the liquids and the other stuff. Jeez, oh, Pete. Boy, howdy. <laughs> um, this is a... was This was in a refined storage system... Tied into the main network. It has now been dialed back and has turned into its own network aside from the main system because A, we really don't need to access this all the time. It just needs to run. And B, it was causing some interference and headaches. So, yeah. This is um, terrifying and uh, <laughs> uh, rather worrisome, but as long as it's not going to catch the mountain on fire, I don't care. Fire. Um, <laughs> Yeah, no kidding. Oh, by the way, back Buttoned. here, you can actually see the bottom end. I've just got a signal, uh, yeah, signal and servo, so it does a whole yep. stack at a time, and just a pipe coming out the bottom and going out through a cover. That's it. So really simple stuff. Um, Everything else in terms of binnies is right here. Okay. okay, this is going a lot faster than I thought. Awesome, that's okay. good to hear, Box. The uh, polymerizer uh, mm -hmm. will. Oh, no, sorry, this is the isolator. The isolator will take a B along with some enzyme and ethanol. Right. And and a and a blank sequence and to grab a random trait. Uh, genetic trait from the B. Right, uh, okay. It will not harm the B, I don't think. Oh god, I remember uh, this stuff. Raw DNA. That's the yep. freak, that's the freaky fluid. Uh the it is this weird mixture of purple and blue and red and you feel that's weird. I, I kinda it's wanna, even weirder in color. I kinda wanna get some uh some some clear-sided tanks and just make a room where that's the walls. <laughs> just free people out and they walk in. Uh, what is this? What's going on? Okay, sequencer. What does a sequencer do? 
Okay, oh, the polymerizer has two uses before we move on to the sequencer. It will mm. it will take serums that you've made with the, the sequences you found right. and um, make them usable. And it will also increase the strength of those blank sequences you just got done making in the isolator. That way they can be sequenced faster in the sequencer. Yeah. Uh, the sequencer is probably the longest running machine. It takes like 20 minutes for a very faint sequence to run all the way through. Good uh, once you have a sequence run through the sequencer, it will get logged into the actual gene database. Ah, okay. The acclimatizer is used to uh, make bees more or less heat or humidity tolerant. Okay, so we're gonna have to- So we can uh, actually do that on those- uh, The marshy bees. Yeah. Yeah. It, uh, it, it won't solve the lily pad problem, but it will solve the heat and uh, humidity I'm, problem. Honestly, I'm not even sure I'm guessing on the lily pad. It might be something else. I'm not sure, but we've got flowers, normal flowers over there, and it says not the right type. So I'm assuming it wants a lily pad because it's from a marsh slash swamp environment. Yep. But we are going to uh, have to do that with the acclimatizers. So does it yes. bring everything closer to normal, or do you tell it what direction to go? You tell it what direction to go. Okay, okay. Um, I have a, I have a notepad document that I can pull up really quick. Uh, I have I have it all listed down. Uh, yeah. Cheater! I had to. I had to. There's so much. Yeah, if you stick a lava bucket or blaze powder in there, it increases their heat tolerance. Ice and snowball is their cold tolerance. Water bucket would be their humidity up, and then sand would be humidity down. Okay, so it's too dry here. We would have to put sand in. Yes. To dry them out some. Okay. Um, and in terms of the inoculator and the splicer, they both do the same thing. They'll take a larva bee and then inoculated with the new genetic material. Right. The, the inoculator uses less power, but it uses a fluid and it takes a lot longer. The splicer, um, no fluid, a lot quicker, but it uses probably 20 to 30 times the power requirement. Good God. Sure. That is, I only ever use that if I want to say inoculate a bee, a bee with a full 16 set of, of genes, because that would take literally two hours. And that's not in-game hours. That's real life two hours in the inoculator. That's kind of crazy. So that's why I put both down. <laughs> um, chiseling bits the fluid into carpet just to what? Oh, oh, the, oh, make make carpet out of raw DNA fluid. We could do that. I can do that. <laughs> do it. Uh, I, I'm not sure I want that stuff as carpet, though. I mean, it looks like something that would eat your shoes if you stepped on it. <laughs> um, you know? I'm going to take one of these marshy bees down here, and I'm going to throw it to the analyzer. Okay. Um, We've got... Uh, let's see... Yeah, forest. We've got two forest and two meadow. These are just going to run and build up stock, spare stock, to be used for, I don't know, liquefying into BDNA, whatever the case may be. Yep. Um, not daytime, not bright enough. Oh, it is. It's sunsetting. Okay, I'm going to go back to the front of the base. Um, the power room has not changed much, other than the fact that I stuck an extra better buffer battery right here. Uh, more power buffer, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I think right now... Uh -huh. I think as it stands right now, I was going to rewire this place. And uh, what I was going to do... Okay. I just ran the uh, Marshy B through. It's not Lily Pad. It's Mushroom. Oh, we can do Mushroom. That's easy, I think. Because uh, we could put it below. Uh, I want to do... Okay, I'm... What I think I want to do is uh, I want to have all of the power. Basically, I want to jam this full of energy cells right here. And I want to have the conduits coming down for power sources that are coming outside of the base. Like, uh, oh, wow. our, our solar panels will uh, come down through this middle of the power room. And then I will come out with them through these channels here, I think. And we can have um, places with specific builds. Because I want to actually route, I do want to route the solar panels through this room. 
and I want yeah. everything power gen. I want it to come through here. So we have a central power point that everything is plugging into. I'm actually going to need a few more of these things, but whatever. Um... Uh, yeah, let me go get a few more real quick. Ah, real quick. Okay. Um, so, Aerodonny's settling in on the bees. Bees. Uh, Terran Winterblade's rating with a party of seven. Thank you very much. Mm, Mr. Winterblade, how are you today? Raiders, exactly. Welcome to the coop. Boop. Um, chickens are us, aka chickens are us, is dry your answer. Um, <laughs> it's, it's not far off, I can't balk at it. Um, okay, I'm gonna make a day real quick. Hey, do we need to get a storage bus and another transmutation tablet and hook it up to your system over there, Aranani? Uh, probably not, because it doesn't okay. have much need for uh, that kind of thing. I didn't know if you needed to, if you wanted to have have it for the sake of quick crafting parts or something. But I guess you don't. No, know. all the parts I need quick crafted are going to be uh, are already being made. Okay, I'm gonna get another stack of that. I'm gonna grab. I am going to set up a wireless access point out here for okay. the main network. Then that way, if we're out here, we can at least access the main network. Yeah, that would be good. We're gonna have to have a heck of a a swat of range upgrades on it, though. That's for sure. Yeah. Let's go back to the power room. Let's go oh. to the power room. Yeah, you took a week <laughs> off, or not a week, but you know, about a week off. It's good to see you back streaming. Um, I was getting a little concerned about you, making sure you were gonna be okay. Berg's been enjoying streaming, too. He's been busy, busy. Of course, he's got a real job, unlike me. Um, I went to change my skin to Colonel Sanders and join the server. Mr. Atomic Blom, you always have a friend in the Coop Street Mafia. Always, always. You want to join? You let me know when, where, and I will make sure... We'll get anybody in your way out of it. You want somebody bumped off? We're your chickens. Um, okay. This is gonna look better this way. Bare stone floor in here just looks dumb. Actually, I might put something brighter under here, but hey, whatever. Oh, you know what? Hmm. Just realized something. This is, gonna, this is gonna be a bad design. Hang on a sec. Um, oh, let's change it up. I need to spider it out so that uh, the cables stay separated, so we don't get power loops. I need straight lines. I do not need two pair running of cables running right next to each other like that. So what we do instead is we we think yeah okay dun, dun, dun. and then we do there we go Maniac, what's going on? How are you? Okay, and then we can split this off this way. Uh, let's see. Yep, okay. I want that out step. And I want this out of step. I will steal one of his Meadows drones and try to steal some genetic material from it. You monster. Um, monster! We got some... Like an 04? <laughs> we got some still in those chests I moved up there. Yeah, so, I grabbed one. Um, 
Oh yeah, come here for a second. Look at this awesome particle effect. Uh oh. I do. I know. I do love the Vinny's machines for this. They have really cool particle effects. Ooh, that is neat. Ooh. I bet that took some work. Yeah. I'm here fixing to hop on tabletop simulators, friends. That's awesome, Maniac. What are you guys playing tonight? <laughs> um, ugh. Have to run. Uh, yeah, I think I missed Taryn already. But I always like it when he stops by. Uh, okay. Yeah, the, uh, uh, things are actually starting to happen over here. It's kind of scary. Okay, I gotta make sure this is not going to look poor Abel. Um, let's run this over here. And actually gonna fill up. I think it's gonna be fine. I don't think I'm gonna need another one back here. So I think I'm just gonna do this. Yep. Think we're all done? Really? I'm gonna have to rework these elevators, I feel, later on, because they're, like, right in the way. <laughs> Might have to move them back a smidge. Okay. Yep. There we go. So now what we can do... I'm going to have to come up with a system for how I want to do this. I don't know if I want to shuffle these and switch them so that these methane generator setups were actually going bottom to top and the power comes out of the roof. That could be better. Maybe. Don't know. We'll see. I'll give it a minute. Um... Okay, let's put that there. Yeah. What's up? You, you know that A arch? Yeah. Tunnel? Uh-huh. I went from the that tunnel all the way over to the bees hut, and then I rubber banded backwards. Back to the arch. Oh, I have had some rubber banding and I'm still trying to figure out why periodically we get hitches with the uh, the TPS will be fine the CPU will be fine everything tick rate the whole nine yards but uh, the instance seems to be hitching or something I don't know what I'm, I'm still figuring it out uh, don't know yet may end up playing either Betrayal at House on the Hill or Time Stories says Maniac that's interesting Or my good furge. <laughs> I can't even say that. Furge craft. Tower is looking good, guys. Uh, I yeah, I think Fox is doing a bang up job on this thing. The exterior won't change. It's the interior that needs work now. Yeah, we might have to shuffle around where the elevators are or slim down to one elevator or something, but I think we need to. I don't know. Well, it on. slims down to one elevator here. Right. Only because there's only two block space between the elevator and the wall here. And then up here, it, the elevator's right against the wall. Yeah, but that's fine. It is going to be cramped in some of the higher rooms, but that's okay. Um, yeah. I mean, when you're... Let's give a gentle float way down. 15 bits from Miss Moab. Thank you very much. I 
left you a present at your base? Who are you talking about, Pops? Us? Or somebody else? I'm a little worried now. I'm a little worried concerning the fact that I haven't seen this gift. Yeah. I hope I didn't pave over it with our basement. Um, yeah, see? When are you going to be getting down here? Uh, it's going to look really cool having the tower. We're going to have this really nice building. I'm still working out the details on how we're going to do some accent um, um, segments on the main building here. So that it does not look like a massive white. Uh, but I'm, I've, I've got ideas. A <laughs> present in air quotes. Yep, and there's a, there's the rubber band. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I felt that one. More of a minor infection, some itchiness, and a rash usually goes away in about 10 to 20 days, says Ferg. Oh, Ferg. Left a present for Ferg. Thank God. Check if it's okay. ticking, Ferg. If it's ticking, dunk it in a bucket of water. We can put something up here, but I don't know what. Um... I'm descending upon your area, Aradani. Oh, you have a wireless thing. Oh, that's for the other terminal. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean for the other network. Um, are you using any of these industrial apiaries yet? Aradani's Aradani. He's muted. He's talking to us. I am muted. <laughs> yep. There we go. Awesome. And now we're sequencing letters. Sequencing letters? What? Oh, we are. We're sequencing letters. What the heck? It spells out Gattaca. It was a good movie. <laughs> hey, that's weird. Um, Okay. I know, I'm not using any of these uh, APRAs yet. Okay. Uh, I did. Ju I do realize now that I need uh, uh, the alvearies, mm -hmm. so I can stick a hatchery in them for the uh, for the larvae. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have royal jelly yet. Yeah, we. Uh, that is still not on our list of achievements. Um... I may have to just uh, go ahead and make a couple of the uh, gender machines. That way, we can do some rapid mutations. Agendistry. Actually, first of all, I need to get my wrench out. Woohoo! Okay, let's wrench some things. Um, get wrenching. Get wrenching. I got wrenched once. It was painful. Um, let's see. <laughs> and we put a loop through here. I actually am gonna need those. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Okay. I'm thinking uh, it's gonna be easier to have the power come in down here. And uh, I'm actually going to temporarily pop out these six blocks right here so I can get into things a little bit easier. That will not work. No bueno. It's fine. Uh, so what I want to do is actually put just I'm going to put a battery stack that's going to stop right at that level and I think it's gonna be easier to have the power come up I was trying to think how we could do this and there's a couple of different ways we can do it um I want to put covers here and here so it looks a little less obvious. Or maybe I'll put it right here and right here. I don't know. We'll work on that in a second. Ferg says, I live in an ocean. Don't worry about it. Um, I 
How to fill Vagram's base with jelly. What kind of jelly? We actually don't have any jelly that you can pipe in as a fluid or make as a block. Um, if I had the pool made, I would say fill that with fluid. But I don't. I still need to figure out how I'm going to accent that. Hey, Kotz, what's going on? Um, okay. I was considering using some of those, uh, you know, those um, RF tools batteries that share... Like they work as a as a remote a multi block. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking about using those. If we get enough of them, then uh, basically, if we get enough, then they were they raise how much power goes in and goes out. I believe per battery that's added to the network. Oh okay. so, so I think the more we have, the more input and output they handle. Which means I could just have a massive battery cluster of those. That's actually not too bad of a problem, I don't think. I think we can do that. We're gonna make it daytime again, real quick. It's always nighttime. Um, it's always the night. Always nighttime. Yeah, power cells. Yeah. I thought they had a hard cap of twenty-five thousand. Honestly. If it's 25,000 per, that's still not a bad problem. The only machines we have that need that much power are the Benny's ones. That's it. Yep. And I mean, yep, Benny's and dentistry. You just split up. If you if you put that that battery into like an endurium energy cell from thermal expansion and have that thing fill up, I think those have a maximum of 25,000 also, I think. Ye yes. So, I mean, every battery we've got has a maximum of 25,000 RF. I think every battery line we've got. Um, RF Tools Power does that. The regular RF Tools ones don't that I know of, says Pops. Benny's is balanced because it takes effort, says Atomic Blum. That's kind of what I'm doing. It's a challenge that also takes effort. <laughs> um, okay, well, let's... let's. Uh, there's one way to find out. Actually, wait a minute. Power cell, I think is what it's called. I added a steel lightning rod to the tower. Oh, did you? Uh, come on. Pesky thing. Um, let's go see. I'm curious. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Honestly, you could probably make it like twice as tall. Actually, if you get all the way up here, it's got a progressive slope at the start. But yeah. the angle all the way down there, you can't see it. Yeah, I think this is actually absolutely perfect. But I do think you could either double or triple that length because they're supposed to be really big. But that's, yeah, that's perfect. That is what we need. You want effort manually breed bees from forestry. I'm not that uh, crazy. I don't and, and, and technically, we have to do that anyway if we want to get into either. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. I just add three more onto that. That'd probably be good. Um, some stone. I'm gonna keep this around. Let's see. Okay, pa power shell. Crap. Okay, that's the holdup number one. Prismarine shard. Oh wait, we have an atomic reconstructor. Oh, hang on, atomic reconstructor. These things are awesome. Um, Agent, that's the next thing I'm gonna get into now is that mod. That mod with the thing. Where'd it go? Do you have a piece I have of quartz. Uh, yeah, okay. This is going to be one of those fun things. Can you maybe move? I think it's because I had my magnet on. Oh, okay. There we go. Yep, that was it. We only need one, really. So now we do that. Just kind of dump that in the system. Come back over here. Speaking of, I'm going to go learn that now. What, the Prismarine thing? Yeah. So now we put power cells. 
Advanced power cells are infused diamonds. Oh, God. Quick. No, let's, God. let's make an infuser. And then fusser. Um... Have any of us found any black quartz? Yep. I thought you could make it. Uh, I can. I have it EMC'd. And just, it clicked in my head. I haven't seen that in a while. And then. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Where'd you put? Am I in your way? No, no, no. no you're, you're, you're fine. Um. Glass worker. Awesome. Perfect. You're going back in storage. Sorry! You ended up being kind of a hassle. Um. Okay. So we need to infuse a diamond. Um. Oh, look. Dimensional shards actually have EMC. Uh, <laughs> well, okay. yep, that makes things infinitely easier. Mm -hmm. I think. How do you? Maybe I'm missing a tick. Um, oh, right, crafting. Duh, I don't need the infuser machine. Ah. Uh. Okay, I'm paying attention. I swear. I swear. Honest. Okay, do it's that. Stony crystals, black. Core. I need to write stony on crystals. Power cells. Power cells. Advanced. We go like that. Toss that in there. Creative. Okay, we can't do creative. Minor technicality. I'm getting a pretty severe hitch every time I pull something out of our RS system. Yeah, so am I. It's horrible. I'm wondering if this was the problem that Raul talked about. There's got to be some way to optimize this a little bit. Um, okay, and then we need a network card. Oh, man. Breacher's here. Everybody hide. Um, hide! Okay, I'm gonna get a gra grab a stack of that while I'm here. Um, no, I think it's called a linking card. Power cell, power cell card. Yeah. So if we do power cell, there is the card. There we go. Um, so we can toss that in there. Here, Baker, I'm learn a basic cell. Well, basic coil. A what? Basic coil from actual editions. It's four redstone and crystal and black quartz. It's called a coil. It's already in the system. Yeah, I've actually learned that already. I had to make some of those to make the actual Atomica just a reconstructor thing. Really? Yeah. That and a couple other things, I think. Um. Oh crap! I wasn't done with that yet. Um, dude, dude, I think that will be fine. I have to remember now how to link these things up. That'll be fun. Um, whoops, wrong direction. I missed a thing. God says, I can handle machines taking a bit of time to work. It's acceptable if you go off and do the other parts you need to do for making something while it works. That way, you're rewarded with good planning. But if it takes a very long time, it sucks. Yes, I 100% agree. Um, I have I believe if you infuse any level of power cell from RF tools, it increases the blocks. Input, output. That'll be worth checking. Actually, I tell you what. We've got a, enough of this stuff. Let's go get a whole bunch of dimensional shards and just infuse all of them. Why not? Put one card in the top left slot, put all the other cards in the bottom right slot to link them first. Yeah. Ferg tier 25. Thank you very much, Mr. Ferg. Um, 
Okay, dimensional shards. Um, I'm just gonna let's get lots. Let's, let's we're you know we're. I think. Got to do this one at a time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I want to cover. Care if I make an empower? Maybe burr, burr, burr. an empowerer. Yes. Is that one Power. of those? Is that one of those five part things that you have to? Put one yeah. thing. Uh, do you want to hook it up in the new office building somewhere? Could, but it didn't need power. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm working on that. I mean, where would we put it right now? Well, the that... whole tower is completely empty. No, I mean, if we weren't going to put it in the tower, if we we're going to put it here, we could. We would have to carve out space, and we can do that. Make a dent over here somewhere across from the tech tech thing, tech closets. Thoughts? Questions? Queries? I think it'd be better just to wait and put it in there. I'm going to craft it anyway, but <laughs> we can wait and put it in the other, in the tower. Yeah, if you want to craft the parts for it, sure. We might have a space to, now, capability of using it by the end of the stream. Green blocks. The one thing I do not like about those display stands, the ethic stuff. A hundred bits from Atomic Blom. Splash and large there, Mr. Blom. How you doing it? I try not to auto craft from mine anymore. Strictly short storage at the moment. What in your refined storage system? I had to unlink my RS from EMC, too much lag. Yeah, the problem seems to be the more things you learn, the laggier it gets. That is what, that is how the problem was originally described to me by Mr. Raul uh, DB Verge. Um, Pritchard five bits, a small bit of bits from me. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think the problem is uh, something along the lines of, The more stuff you learn, the worse it gets. And um, there isn't, there's not apparently a workaround. That's one of the reasons why he's taking out the, the actual Project E API integration. I asked him to politely spin it off on a separate mod. Maybe if he does, we can get some other eyeballs to look at it and help optimize it a little bit as it, when it's a standalone mod, but that has not happened yet. Um, Good grief! 1,400 bits. That wasn't cheering large. This is cheering large. Good grief, man. <laughs> My autocrafting gives me the thinking circle of thinking. Bit wars! Well, Blom just took over the top spot on the on the leaderboards, that's for sure. Um, Jeez. Yeah. July <laughs> is almost covered. It is because you people are crazy. I set a nuts amount on purpose. Um, <laughs> uh, it's kind of bonkers how, how much you folks support me, and I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, the wife's like, sigh, back to third. She's been trying to h get first spot on the leaderboard for a while, and she keeps getting blasted out by bit wars. I'm not complaining, though. Oh, uh, we have seven people in the server. I didn't even notice. Wow. Yeah. Thank you, Kiro. Um, okay. These are going to take a little bit to in bus. Let's get this up to 100 and see if they actually stack. I'm curious. Oh, Vakram, you have the tables and the empowerer set up in your system. I do? Oh, I just stack. threw it in the system. Can I put all these in here? Nope. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. I need... I'm going to do it this way. Dimensional. Got some of them there. Dimensionals. Let's 
So let's talk real quickly while I'm doing a slightly boring and repetitive task. Let's talk real quickly about Guilty TV. There is this show, <laughs> this show that my wife and I absolutely love to watch called Ancient Aliens. I, I cannot express how hilarious and amazing it is to watch this show. And it's not necessarily the crazy theories that they actually have. It's how they present them. Uh, it, it is the, the, the position of absolute fact. Well, of course, aliens came down and helped build the pyramids. It's just so matter of fact and the crazy stuff that they actually propose in this show. I, I, I don't know why, but I absolutely love it. It's, it's, it's weird. <laughs> 10 bits from Ohanzi. Thank you very much, Ohanzi. It's just dumb for me to buy bits to turn around and give the percentage back to us. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it is 100%. Yes, we're talking about the, the Centauri guy. Yeah, the guy with the hairdo. Yes. I love that show. It's awesome. Um, it's it's silly. And, you know, I'm not saying that, you know, their theories are not valid or whatever. I'm just saying they're out there. Like really, really out there. Yeah, George Tsoukalos. <laughs> energy relays laser energy relays correction uh those who go through solid blocks by the way we could use those to cover big distances but they have some drop off in power i think it's small but i think they do well now they're in your system so you're just going through and cra crafting things basically i'm just going through and learning everything from actually additions <laughs> well, that's cool What's cool? I'm not sure if this was uh, in the last mod pack because I never actually used the dynamos, but they have a new animation when they're actually running. It's like a, a, a kind of light goes up from the bottom to the top. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it pulses. Kind of, sort of. Shock absorber. Oh, that's like you land on it and you don't take any full damage. That's right. I think. Colored lamps. Isn't this thrilling, ladies and gentlemen? It's absolutely riveting. Yeah. Didn't we already learn compost? I can't remember. Wait a minute, does it have an EMC? Yes. Oh, okay. I don't think I've done it, no. I don't know why, but in my head, I, I was thinking someone made compost in... Jeep too. Wood casing. Wood. Let me make it. <laughs> I like his response to uh, who does your hair and he posts a picture of him captioned aliens. Yeah. that George actually has a really he, George Sukolos has a really good sense of humor about the entire thing. Um, I, I think if I was trying to do that show and I got ribbed as much as he does I, I probably would have snapped by now. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just saying phantom energy faces with boosters have a range of 128 blocks holy cow <laughs> yeah they get hilarious after a point okay that one's at 100% and what was it my brain farted <laughs> gross <laughs> Juice box. Is that why your ears smell? <laughs> <laughs> I just let my accent type TMI in the, <laughs> into my <laughs> grid. Yeah. That's already in slip. <laughs> um, I do like breaking idiots. It warms my shriveled heart, says Birdcraft. Yeah, I. Why are you smelting, smelling Fox's ears? Well, I'm trying not to, you know, get close and do it. That would just be awkward and strange. Come on, infuse faster. Apparently, Camilla got a EMC value. Uh, you can blame Mr. Mallrat for that. I'm actually not sure if that's a good idea or not because I think that the advanced versions of canola are horrible 
Uh, they involve dropping items into the world in order to infuse them with energy. And anything that involves dropping stacks of items into the world is bad news in my book. So, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm not a fan for obvious reasons. Uh, it's not that well, look not, what happened on VC four. It's not that we've ever almost killed a server because we had a bank of wheat machines powering our base. No, um, never. Yeah. God, that uses a lot of power. Yep. <laughs> I'm sorry. But Hitler was a lizard? What? Yeah, Hitler was a lizard man. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the, you don't know about the lizard people from the planet Xenu? <laughs> My main problem I'm just going to show... instantly give you an insane stamp. <laughs> <laughs> My main problem was is Kugus. Uh, my main problem with the show is Netflix. You've watched Nova and Planet or Earth. You much love ancient aliens and Hitler was a lizard. Yeah, it is kind of like, oh, this is scientific, it, right? No. 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 Not in this light is. Okay. This is almost done. And then we'll have one last one. <laughs> uh, things that could never go bad. Grimco grants each department a budget of EMC. Ah. That's like a uh, very bad idea. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's mildly terrifying. Um, okay. Uh, we're going to do some tests to see what kind of ludicrosity we can actually have with this. Ludicrousness! <laughs> Anybody care for some fish and chips? Fishing oh. chips? Fish and chips. Oh. Uh, did you make some? No, but I could. <laughs> I kind of want some in real life. Once upon a time, it's, I used yes. to like I used to like going to Long John Silver's, but all the Long John Silver's down here have gone to crap. They're all places you get mugged now. So, oh yeah, they're that kind of <laughs> restaurant now. Oh no. <laughs> I tell you what, there is actually a setting in Project E now that I almost turned on, and it is uh, diminishing returns. If you Something will have an EMC value of like, you know, 8,000. And if you make, if you turn, if you burn something for EMC, that's how much it takes to make it out of EMC. But if you get one and liquidate it, you might only get 90% of that or 80% of that or whatever. So there's diminishing returns on getting something and pulling it out, putting it back in, pulling it out, putting it back in. You're burning extra EMC. And you can put a certain percentage tax of how much it costs to do that. And I almost turned that on, but then I thought, nah, it's supposed to be a casual pack. People would probably punch me. So, I did not. Okay. It's Let's supposed to be casual, see. man. Gosh. Yeah, I know. It's supposed to be casual. Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> um, okay, I'm just going to hack a, hack a hole into the side of the mountain here. Um, I basically learned everything I can without getting into the empowering stuff. Oh, no. The range collector and the long breaker. Resonant and leadstone. Ew. Okay. Let's get one of these. Ew. Ew. I need a different kind of a wrench, don't I? Yes. Thank you, McJitty. Yeah. It, then it isn't equivalent exchange, it's inequivalent exchange. Um, <laughs> it's true. That's not true, that's Dragon not, Racer. That's not how equivalent exchange works. What's the name of the show? The anime? Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, that's the one. It, it really wants to make me like get my nerd voice on, you know. Well, in episode four of Full Metal Alchemist, well, what you actually funny. see... But actually, but actually, yeah, I just, it really wants to make me go full blown nerd when people, <laughs> um, as soon as anyone mentions that I instantly right off, whatever they're saying, I'm like, yeah. nope. Yep. I, I will admit it's great anime. It's actually in the short list of anime that I like. I generally can't stand anime because of a lot of the tropes and the, the way that they do it. It's not just, oh, it's anime. I, I write it off. It, it, it's an issue of, wow, this thing is a, what is this? Four million output input output of thirty thousand RF per tick. That's one 
Woo! Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, breaker, yeah. breaker, breaker. There we go. So now, if we went... Void crystal. Can I do this? No, of course not. Because McJitty has to have his own wrench that doesn't cooperate with other wrenches and behaves totally differently. Because reason. Thanks, McJitty. <laughs> we can go all the way down here. Um... So much leadstone. Uh, yeah, I do like uh, Full Metal Alchemist. It was actually really, really good. I liked most of Trigun. Thought that actually had potential. Um, uh, let's see. This is in. Actually, no, I don't need that. Um, let's do this. Uh, I did not learn my lesson. Of course not. Uh, Edgar, yeah, you do know you're in the floor, right? Yeah, <laughs> on purpose. Um, um, sir, you're in the floor. Output. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Um, I have to ask you to leave the floor. <laughs> okay, so we get one of these things. Do I put it in the top left slot or do I put it in the link slot? I think I put it in the link slot, right? No. <laughs> Class wrench implements four hundred wrench types. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so the, the input-output is constant at 30,000 RF per tick, but that's still higher than an Enderium cell. Um, but we now have 8 million storage at 30,000 RF per tick coming in direct through a wireless line. Um, I'm going to now seal myself, seal this tunnel up and back out of it. I need more stone. Um, five agram. Bye, Fox. <laughs> you just literally walked away from me. <laughs> MHA is fun. What's MHA? My Hero Academia. Oh God, no. Nope. 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 I've um. lost track of the amount of weird that that show gives me like <laughs> vibes on or something it's just you know I, I i i haven't even watched it but just looking at some of the you know still shots and the trailers for it and stuff like that i'm like nope nope my brain can't handle that um okay so now what i do actually would have been it would have been shorter to go the other way. Ah, ha, ha. Okay. Um, no, 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 no. Let's go back to the power room. The power room. I was surprised by Kill La Kill. The show was so blatantly showy, I almost passed it over. Um, I that was the point of Kill La Kill. Um. <laughs> uh, based upon uh, the just the still shots I've seen of that show, I am 100% sure I would hate it. So I, I have never watched it. I um, went in five minutes into the first episode and then instantly attempted to delete my Netflix account. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, wait a minute. It takes a special kind of person to watch that show. I will readily admit that. Um, I'm going to have to steal your power for just like a quick second or five minutes, Aridani. Yeah. Power. That, is that yeah, it? no, that's fine. Okay. Um, I'm going to boop, a boop. You had to put a grid all the way up front because we couldn't reach the grid in the back because of cables. Yes. <laughs> I'm not entirely cruel. Whoops. Oh, hold on, my magnet's on. <laughs> I pruned too far. Okay, um... I'll bring the battery back to you. <laughs> I got one. Just stick it in there. Well, you, you can't put it in... Oh, yeah. I don't have a magnet on, so... It was me. Um, it's apparently a completely empty battery, so... Yeah, that's fine. Um, let's see. 
Super dark down here. This is probably amazing television, but you know, whatever. Uh, eh, let's do that. Output. I'm, I'm gonna... That is a really long time for that crafting grid. Oh my god. Nope, I messed up. There we go. So now... That is getting filled up. Maybe. Yep, there we go. Okay, it's filling up. Awesome. Sick, dope, fly, lit, whatever. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. As we rewire the... Oh, God, that's ugly. Um, as we I think I'm just base. trying to be hip, so I'm just stopping. Uh, it's lit, fam. Oh, run away. As the wife rolls her eyes. Uh, <laughs> she's going to roll her eyes so hard she's going to fall over. Um... Okay, so now what we do is we put one of these down and we do all sides set to in. Oh, okay, that fixes that problem. Yay! So now that is getting power put into it. We have a 16 million wireless reserve. This is cool. I'm glad we're doing this. It's going to save us a ton on gabling. Okay, um... Not to mention the lasers. Atomic Bomb said, I thought it had a pretty good storyline despite its target audience. Um... Glad I... To Yu-Gi-Oh, sure me. Atomic Bomb says, Ugh, glad I gave up on HXH early then? What? What's uh, that? Oh, Hunter v. Hunter. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Um... Uh, a dragon racer, kill, kill us, sounds a lot like Fruity Kuri because it's done by the same people who did Fruity Kuri. So, <laughs> the madman named Imaishi Hiroyuki is, yeah. What was, He's wait a, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, what was the name of the, the show? The name of the anime. This is older, it's gonna date me, but it was a series that was done, and they had this kid that was rolling around on rollerblades with a helmet on and he had a slightly bent solid gold bat. Do you remember what I'm talking about? It's an older series. Oh god, um I'm not sure. Also I've seen FLCL at that Yes, Paranoia Agent. That show's great. It's so weird. It makes no sense. People were just having this conversation, you know, you would get slightly involved in somebody's life. And then out of nowhere, quote unquote, paranoia agent, the kid with this solid gold bat, would just ride up and clock somebody hard as he could <laughs> on the back of the head. Blood sprays everywhere. That person kicks over dead and everybody else is just shocked in horror as they watch the kid ride off. And the kid and the cops are trying to chase this kid down and figure out what the hell's going on. Great show. It's really freaky. I loved it. Paranoia agent was awesome. Yes, hacks. I probably forgot to set up a filter. Um. <laughs> hacks. Um. Okay. Hacks. Hacks. It's like a duck. Hacks. Hacks. I'm gonna put that there. I am working on the bottom area of the tower now. I'll work on because you. it looks kind of weird sitting up on a platform. Okay, I can put. Um, basically, I'm gonna add a bunch more of all in levels, and then I'm actually going to better non-functional separate those two. There we go. I'm gonna cover this up. Cover this up. I might put some. Can you make what happens if you make glass block covers? Are they transparent, or did the p cables in them go away? They're transparent. Awesome! I'm gonna go do that. Hang on a sec. That sounds dope. But which ones? What? How are you making them? Are you making them with structure ducts, or...? Yeah, structure ducts. I don't know. Oh. What good are you? Uh, Kill the Kill actually had me... Good. 
<laughs> Google. And this was all like, I'm not saying I did the trigger the bot. <laughs> Why are his nipples glowing purple? <laughs> yep, that's about right. Like I said, complete madness. You have. To... I will readily admit the only reason I probably got into it is because I watched things like Gurren Lagon and A Fooly Cooly. Hey, Grim Tides. I okay. I think that thermal covers preserve the connected texture. No, I'm curious about the, the cables underneath. I'm curious about if you keep the. Uh, um, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Glass, and I'm gonna get ha half a stack of those. You see, um, I liked um, Area Zerum. I thought that was a really good show. Uh, series. It was actually only like three movies um, in the series, but still. Area Zaren was awesome. Um, yes, I think uh, Akira is hella stupid. I'll fight you for it. <laughs> Let's, Let's don't duck. It's just dumb. I can't stand it. Um, yes, you missed the madness and awesomeness that was EverQuest. <laughs> You can use the nice glass with connected textures. I just want to see what happens when I do this real quick. I can't believe I missed you playing EQ. Yeah, exactly. I'm okay. I'm just going to ignore that person. Um, Kill a Kill is like the movie American Beauty. You have to watch it stone slash drunk. If you have to give a movie a claw, that clause, it's not a good movie. Um, I have this friend. And I, I, I don't know. I, I uh, <laughs> the wife already knows who I'm talking about. I have this friend. Um, let's see. I'm going to do that. That and that. So that looks cool. But then, yeah, this is what I wanted. This is awesome. It's like the power cables under the flooring in the, uh, enterprise or something. Um, uh, <laughs> Do that I'm gonna actually put a cable here and then do this and then we can boop poke it out um yeah uh what's I talking about oh I have this friend something about somebody yeah yeah I have a friend who uh oh man you gotta watch this show dude the show is so awesome and invariably it's a show that's like um uh well you know it, you really have to get past the first season, then it takes off. No, no, I don't. I don't have to get past the first season. If it doesn't take off in the first two episodes, I'm not following it. Sorry. Yeah, for me, I followed the three episode rule. If it doesn't catch my interest in three episodes, yeah, I, I, I put it down. Yeah, yeah. You know, it really gets awesome past episode seven of season one. You already lost me, Mickey. Sorry. But it's a really good show. Not if I have to go through a whole season for it to not suck. Um, okay. Yeah, some of my friends are like, dude, you gotta watch this. And I can't watch it because it's so dull. For me, my friends know is that, that if I actually tell them to go watch something, it means that they prob it's probably good because I never recommend anything to anyone. Well, the same person that always, person. This same person that always recommends stuff to me invariably the moment he actually gets interested in a show it gets canceled it's like a superpower <laughs> not cab that's mickey yeah 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 i'm not sure what that says about me he really gets drunk and has never been stoned but still enjoyed it says <laughs> atomic blob oh kill him, kill uh, yeah, blob on the same way i was i watched it the first time in english it captured my heart i still love the anime um I gave up on like, like I said, I've watched it too many times. I gave up on a yeah, Kuga says I gave up on Attack on Titan in episode eleven, still can't get past that. Um I watched the first episode of Attack on Titan and fell asleep on the couch. Um <laughs> the only thing I like about Attack on Titan is the soundtrack because it's done by one of my favorite yeah. composers who does anime soundtracks. That's the only thing I like for it. Okay. Oh boy, we got bots. Oh god. There's lightning and thunder outside. Well, lightning at least. I think I heard some thunder rumbling. Um, Box, do you want some power over here in the tower yet? Um, actually, I'm just I'm working on the 
base part of the tower because it looked weird kind of just floating. Okay. Although nothing's going to go down there unless we want to. What is going on here? Okay, yeah, all in. Okay. I can't charge my wand up here, can I? No. That would be useful. <laughs> that would be useful. Go all the way down. Don't you just miss RF, uh, uh, I mean, uh, flux networks? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, okay, so that goes. Yeah, okay, that goes back there. And then that goes in and over. This one goes down. No, that's wrong. Oh, wait, that is right. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, wait, are you telling me something was right and you got it wrong? <laughs> um, yes, it was right before I screwed with it and I got it wrong. Um, okay. This one goes, yeah. Um, in, out. Actually, is that it? Oh, screw it. Uh, one, 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 two. Yeah, I think it was. Uh, thank you, honey. Woohoo! Ah, All right, we now have uh, a apiary doing marshy bees. Awesome. Did you adjust their temperature or what? Oh, wait, I saw something in the mushrooms, but yes, I was able to get th their temperature down to what it needed to be. Neat. Took a stack of sand, though. <laughs> Um, okay. Um, I need a mushroom. In, in, over. We have one, we have the capability to make 1.8 million mushrooms. Yeah, I think this is all, I think this is all right. One, 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 two. It's one battery is not. Oh, uh, we're in crag. So it's moderate temperature, moderate humidity. We're so extreme. We were too extreme for extreme hills. We had to find something even more mountainous. That's, <laughs> that's how badass we are. Ex extreme hills. We don't need those. We're in extreme, extreme hills. Um... I forget whether it was episode three or episode four of Gurren Lagan, which was so bad people were fired over it. I don't even know what he's talking about. That one really picked up, though. The entire premise of it is accelerates continuously. Or continually. Um, unlike DD, JJ had no sub-characters that I am lost. What are they talking about? Uh, Daredevil and Jessica Jones. Oh. Oh, um, I, I, liked, Daredevil. I liked Daredevil, <laughs> a season one... And two, what is it on three? I think it's on three or no, it has two. They're making three right now. And uh, I liked one, two was kind of eh. Um, I uh, liked one and two of um, Luke Cage. Um, I didn't hate L season one of uh, Iron Fist. I don't think it was horrible, great or anything, but I don't think it was nearly as horrible as everybody was whining about. Um, Jessica Jones, I had to force myself to watch the uh, first season, and I wanted to watch it because I knew they were going to start tying other shows together with this character, so I kind of felt like I needed to watch it. So I watched the entire first season, and it's 12 episodes or 13 episodes. I could not really get interested in it until about episode 8 or 9, like real close to the end. And then it kind of picked up for me. Second season of Jessica Jones, I got, I think... 25 minutes into the first episode and I'm like nope I think I'm done I'm gonna have to take a break <laughs> I was like I can't do this for a second season Twisted Face says right side is wrong oh and then says never mind um Cabanon of the Iron Fortress that I enjoyed and was very sad when it was over is that seriously a show oh uh, yes I've never actually watched it though um okay TTF 
TTFT Cut says, I just got finished watching Mobile Suit Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans yesterday. That was a good, air quotes, anime. Is that serious or is that like, I can't tell, Cuts. It's probably serious. <laughs> it's raining. Yep, it's raining. Okay. I'll go dive downstairs and we can sleep or something. Oh, wait a minute. I see uh, yeah. I see Fox running in. Are you heading for the uh, the cot? No, I'm, I ran oh. inside because I need more marble, but I have a sleeping bag. So if someone wants to take the cot. I'm sleeping also on my bag of sleeping. There's no space for sleeping. I need to finish Luke Cage season two. I liked it. I thought it was great. They bring in, I mean, this is not spoilers. It's literally on the series trailer. They bring in Iron Fist for like two, two or three episodes. And it's flipping awesome. It's like they finally figured out how those two were supposed to work together. Um, that's, how, that's all I'm going to say. So there all was. Right, how do we do uh, mushrooms, Iron? Uh, you. Okay, option number one. We're so high up, we don't need to actually light that basement, right? No. Right, so, okay. We're, we're just so absurdly high on the Y level. We could knock all the lights out. And then stick some dirt blocks under the apiaries that have uh, that have uh, shrooms on them. Okay. Um, that would be dark enough. We could do that. Just light up the far end because those things won't stay planted unless it's below. I think it's either what is it? Light level ten, seven, something like that. So like that, yeah. Cut says, yeah, it's serious. It's a good one. That was asterisk for emphasis, not quotes. Oh, okay, good. Dark preacher says. Um, Amazon Prime has Caban and Zombies. Gesundheit. I think you sneezed there. Um, giant trains, steam-powered weapons. What? See, that that's not a sentence. That doesn't make sense to me. I, I feel like people are talking another language here. It's really weird. <laughs> I, get, I get that my old is showing. I'm hip, you know? I mean, I, I understand that. I'm not hip. Um, <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> far from it. Um, I understand that, that my, you know, my old is showing in this regard, but it's still one of those things where I just like, I feel like people are talking a second language. Yes. Air quotes hip. Exactly. Ferg. The problem with Iron yep. Fist is Danny is a moron. It, uh, it takes a bit to realize uh, that it's written that way in both Iron Fist defenders. Madam Gao calls him out for being stupid. Yeah. But that's the character. He is supposed to be kind of naively stupid. In the comics, he's exactly that way. So that's where I don't get why people are like, why is he being dumb? He's dumb in the comics. <laughs> he, you know, he he started, he wound up to a certain point. He did not start off. Hi, Wait a minute, what? I have issues. You're missing punctuations. I think you need glasses, buddy. I have issues with the prime subtitles. Oh. Dragon Racer is saying good night all. Anyway, yeah, Dragon Racer is saying good night all. It's not nighttime for Blom. He's not going to bed. De- de- yeah, he's not going to bed. He's going to work, people. Follow along. Come on. He's on the wrong side of the planet. What are you doing? Why do we have dirt around that thing? Hold on. <laughs> I plant a mushroom. <laughs> Stupid mushrooms. Uh, no flowers. No flowers for Algernon. Okay, I'm going to let you... That was a good book. Slash movie. Uh, it was a great quest in World of Warcraft. Um, okay. So we have spare power coming in through here. Wow, we're actually... These batteries are actually filling. This is shocking. Shocking, I say! <laughs> um... You know, the one thing I'm just detouring here real quick. I swear I'll get back on subject. Uh, the one thing I miss about Pixar or that I'm going to miss about Pixar if we don't keep playing it was the actual leather. I mean, the uh, clothing, the primitive clothing that you start off with made me look like an old timey British explorer with the pipe sticking out. <laughs> All right. Then. <laughs> I really liked that outfit and I really kind of miss it. It's kind of funny, but you know, the rest of the game is so confusing around it. Um... The batteries are on the output side of the room. What? What batteries? These batteries? No. 
These are set to all input. Side input, side input. These are only accepting power. They're not pumping out power. These batteries are getting power from this, passing it to this. And I'll even like one, one, you see? So these are accepting power from the generators and piping it out this way down here and over to these battery banks. And these battery banks are only accepting power from this room. Not hard to do that, Blom. Open a large mint. What? Became... You're a lot braver than I if you can nap in the middle of an open plan office. Oh, hey. They actually had approved equipment from Ikea at this play when I worked at Shell. There was approved attachments from I for Ikea if you were going to put, like, curtains under your desk to sleep under it if you worked in certain departments, like the trading floor, the people that trade, like, oil and gas and stuff. Because those guys made so much money for the company, they would let them sleep anywhere. So, yeah. Thought you had one side output and missed you, uh, when you switch. No, no, no. Yeah, see, this is, this is, uh, this should be output, and this is output, and both of these sides are input from the generators. One, one. So it's power in, and then it comes out this way down here, and it comes into this junction and hits these things. Those are only set. This is one of the things I like about these batteries. I really wish a lot more batteries had this feature. You can set individual sides with a smart wrench. You get a smart wrench and you can have one side to input and one side to output. But there's a button that says set all sides to accept energy. There's another one that says set all sides to send energy. And a third that says set all sides to none. It's really simple. And it's one of the best things about these batteries that a lot of other people kind of underestimate uh, or discount as not being that important. It's super nice to me. That I can just get one of these, plunk it down, and say, just input. So it's only accepting power into the power pool. So now we have 20 million RF just in these wireless batteries. And I still have three more. I haven't even hooked up anywhere. So, um, by the way, uh, Fox, if you want me to put some power in that tower, I can do that now. Sure. Actually, there's a spot for it. I like the long pause. Sure. I was oh, adjusting oh. myself in my seat. Okay, crazy man. Whatever. <laughs> um, Actually, come back over here. Oh, God. What? Where? Who? Where are you going? Going around. Ring around the posy. Pocket full of rosy. <laughs> assholes. Right assholes. It, they all right here down. on top of that cobblestone. On top of? Okay. So where you're standing. Yeah, but the pa you want a cable to go up, right? Through here? Yeah, I'll just use laser relays. I actually have like three quarters of a stack of resonant flux ducts. Okay, that works. Oh great, I'm shut in now. Um <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> well twenty four thousand twenty four million and it fills up almost instantly. Hello. See, I right-click this thing, and I set output. It's only going to output power. Good night. And I'm just going to run. Actually, the resonant would probably be... What? Awesome. For right what now. What would? Resonant. <laughs> Cables. Yeah, that's what I'm using. I mean, we can use las lasers if you want to use lasers. I'm okay with this. No, it's fine. I think those transfer more anyway. Uh, I, I'm actually not sure. Um, I've never tested it. Um, it seems that Thor is mad outside of my uh, office window. So, if I'm randomly cut out at any moment and the stream stops, you know why. Uh, sure, that's a good stopping point. I'm sick of accidentally putting batteries in upside down. <laughs> yeah. Punisher was a whole nother level of I liked Daredevil. Will I like Punisher? Do you like people getting killed with sledgehammers? If not, you're you're not going to make it past episode one. Yeah. Um, I like <laughs> Yeah. Kugas, I actually 
um, liked um, episode. I I liked uh, Punisher for a five episode series. It was eight episodes, which is shorter than I think it was eight, which was shorter than a lot of the other ones. It was either eight or ten, but it was shorter than all most of the other series, and it still felt like it was about twenty five episodes of uh, half of which were people getting tortured for no reason and sitting around in a warehouse. I, I cannot express that, you know, just how many episodes they could have completely cut out of that show's run and saved a lot of trouble. It just, it, it dragged on at several points. I liked it overall, but I think it needed to be trimmed some. So, yeah. Okay. The tower has power. Uh, tower power or something, something, something. Okay. Um, let me think. It's going to hurt, but I need to do it. It must be done. Okay, bees are now hooked up to the main power loop. Everything is funneling into the main power loop and coming out of the main power loop. Yeah. This is already better than some of our previous bases because now we don't have a rat's nest of cables running halfway through a mountain that we don't know what they do. Where did we run the power lines for this again? Oh, God, let's tear out the walls. <laughs> And the floor, and the ceiling, and the entire mountain. Um, hang on a second. I can, I can sleep or something. I'm gonna sleep next to I the can. bees. Bees. I was about to say I can fall asleep inside this open plan. <laughs> sleep in an open plan office. Yeah. Um. Boop. Okay. Awesome. I will probably need those, but for now, let's see. Oh, yeah. those are hen houses. I keep pulling hen houses out of my inventory. <laughs> I need a crate. Uh, I need an old crate and a young crate. Um, okay, I'm going to put this here. Stack of that, stack of those, stack of those, some covers. Um, marble for the wall. And I Not think good. that's going to do us. There. 20 bits for Miss Moab. <laughs> Not the bees, said Cougars. Um, I'm confused now, but then I always look for the spring, so I didn't really pay attention to which way things are. And Tommy Long says, well, that was a joke. It's okay, honey. I, I actually didn't think it was a joke either. I just thought Blom was dumb. Um, I mean, I didn't say that. I said nothing. <laughs> uh, okay, pristine, no flowers. Have we not figured out the shroom thing yet? Hold on, I've got to figure it figured out. I just need to wait for this moistener to make me a block of mycelium. Oh, oh, that counts? Yes, um, mycelium will allow a mushroom to grow at any light level. Oh, we can swap it out for a grass block. Okay, that's dope. Um, um, I'll let you pick the brass block. I'm not going to start hacking into the yard. I'll let you do that. Um, <laughs> also, moistener is a disgusting word. <laughs> moistener. <laughs> Quick, box, grab the moistener. No. <laughs> See, he doesn't want no. to do it. No. Sick. Um, okay. Let me think. Meh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew, exactly. Yeah, moistener. Harsh but fair. This is another one. What's all the little floaty stuff around the hives? The bees? bees. Yeah, Grimtide says the bees. Yeah, those are the bees. Um, yeah, if you stand down here, you can kind of see. Ooh, something just happened. There's different colors of bees based upon what bee it is. Different colors of little floaty bee effects. And you can even see how they're itty bitty little bees. It's also the fact that there's different um, effects that will kind of come off of the apiaries. These little houses. Um, or grab them off. Gross. Uh, uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. Gross. Uh, God, people. We had an accident with the moistener. Oh, crap. Um, <laughs> Yeah. yeah, uh, 
you can see the little bees floating around. They'll have a little kind of a, an effect that will come off, like right there, off of the actual apiaries. Some other ones have even more elaborate stuff that happens. Um, there's some crazy visual effects on some of the career bees, I think. Crazy bees! <laughs> mm. You come on down to Mad Mike's Bee House. Okay, oh, do we have a shroom? Uh, you want me to get uh, sure. Got it. And shroom. And now they're going. Happy bees! Look at the bees pouring out! Oh crap, these are the poisonous ones. Ah, I mean, uh... <laughs> <laughs> those, are, those are jungle bees. I'm forever scarred by jungle bees. Um, I, I quick click <laughs> about four apiaries full of those things uh, in a playthrough on Forgecraft I did once. I just ding, 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 filled up four or five apiaries with those things real quick, and they all kicked off at once and just killed me. And every time I'd respawn <laughs> at my base, dead. Respawn, dead. Respawn, dead. <laughs> And, uh, uh, yeah, somebody, some smart-ass direwolf or somebody else said, you find the jungle bees, and I'm like, shut up. <laughs> Let me be an idiot in peace. Be an idiot in peace. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> shut up, Fox. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know why, okay. but I thought they were bigger. The actual bees are bigger, like, if you take them out of the hive, but that's the quote-unquote bee effect. They're doing things. Yeah, the bee is that bit away oh, along for to go. <laughs> Coog is circling back around to the anime subject. I came in, uh, though, I came in through the, I didn't know it was anime of Robotech as a kid. The college was, oh, that was really Macross, try this. And I was introduced to Bubblegum Crisis and the most serious side of sci-fi from Japan. I'm not sure I would qualify BCG, Bubblegum Crisis, as serious. Um, it was about a rock band of 20-something hot girls that had motorcycles that would transform into robot exosuits. You know, I'm just... Eh, <laughs> Anime. Yeah. Um, uh, Robotech. Uh, what was her name? Minmay? The girl that was uh, the, uh, the girlfriend of one of the lead pilots that was the main character. Um, Rob Otek or whatever his name was I can't remember anyway um, uh, Min May was the, the she was the singer you know they were on these giant ships sailing through deep space or whatnot, and she was one of this like superstar kind of a singer and they actually had the singing segments in the show in the cartoon of her performing or whatever and it was just so brain grating it was like it was, oh God, I, it was torture, torture. You know, every single time an episode of uh, Battletech or whatnot would come on and it was going to be a min -may episode. It's like, nope, click, turn it off. I don't care. I'll catch up next episode. <laughs> yes. Rick Hunter. Thank you. That's it. Never seen it, says Atomic Blom. Sure. It was about a power armor merc squad. One of that sang in a bar fighting terrorists. Sure, Kugus. Okay. Let's go with that. <laughs> yeah. They, uh, um, they had uh, a pen and paper RPG for Bubblegum Crisis that was based on the Rifts uh, RPG system, the Palladium RPG system, which was the same system that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles pen and paper RPG was based off of, and Robotech, and a whole bunch of other shows. There was like six or seven different anime cartoons. Uh, uh, I mean, anime shows. And Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were all based off of Palladium. And you could cross-link them and hook them together and do really weird crap with them. So, yeah. Um, What's the wrench for the lasers? It's called a laser, laser wrench. wrench. Yep. <laughs> wow, my the... brain did not put two and two together. <laughs> it's called a bomb. Somebody told me that the first time I got into actually editions, somebody told me that it was a laser wrench. I'm like, there's not something called a laser wrench. You're kidding me. Yeah, it turned out there was actually something called a laser wrench. Um, <laughs> <laughs> surprise! Well, I almost blinked almost. Yeah, I have not lost any data, so my first anime was Samurai Pizza Cats. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure I would qualify that as anime. I guess technically it was, but it really didn't seem like anime to me. I don't know. Running Warriors. One of the first animes I watched, says Dark Preacher. 
Uh, very first anime I watched was Superbook. What? I don't even know what that is. Yeah, uh, Atomic Blom says, I love how the TE wrench is called a crescent hammer. Yeah, I keep searching for wrench when I'm getting started. And, um, yep. Uh, yeah, and, I always do it. In TE. Yeah, let's get the wrench from TE. What do you mean TE doesn't have a wrench? No, I made it last time. Nope, it's called a crescent hammer. Yeah, that's how you fix stuff. You bang it on it. still looks like a wrench. Uh-huh. Yes, it does look like a wrench, which angers me. <laughs> it's dumb. <laughs> Robotech introduced me and many others to wait. Characters can die? Yeah. Yes, characters can die. Unless it's Dragon Ball, then the characters can die and come right back to life. Oh, God. <laughs> I will admit, I grew up on it. Um, okay, let me think about... I need to start planning some other stuff that we're going to be working on. Okay, Let's I did see. make a uh, separator over here in the bee machine area, so we can process our honeycombs. Okay. Have an empower. Empower. <laughs> empower. I can't say that word. Empower. Um, <laughs> we, we might consider putting some teleporters around the base to make it easier to get around. Just a passing thought. <laughs> yeah, I think the, uh, the elevators are just for comic relief. <laughs> Oh, no, I passed him. Oh, hey, we do. <laughs> I watched your character morph through the wall. Uh, yeah, the Empower is very cool. I like it, but uh, I'm still kind of fuzzy on the Block of Redstonia, it. Redstone, Nether Brick, Red Die in a Brick. Do we happen to have a Red uh, Nether Brick? Darn. Uh, I have been to the Nether and gotten Netherrack. That works. So you can smelt it and make another brick and then EMC it. We already have another brick. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Superbook is a Christian anime? Yeah, that's that's that's, that's an a oxymoron. Of terms. Yeah, that's an oxymoron, <laughs> man. That's like military intelligence. <laughs> uh, oh wait, I said that to the Marine. Oh. Whoops! Oh no. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Superbook is a Christian anime. Modern day kids get transported to Bible times. To go through the major stories of the Bible. Um, same premise of the flying house, except flying house, the time traveling house, and a robot. Well, I've never heard of flying house either. That's weird. Uh, okay, Superbook. I've never heard of Superbook before. That's interesting. Educational. Um, Bless you. Christian, that was me drinking. Uh, Christian TV shows I remember is like um, David and Goliath. I think it was Claymation. About a kid and his dog named Goliath. Kid named David. Hey, Davey. Um, I remember that show. Uh, okay. Let me see if there's anything. It's nighttime again. Oh, my God. Nighttime. Daytime. I was raised in a big... Dude. I, you know, don't get me started. My my father was a Baptist minister. Ever seen Gospel Bill? Yes, I remember that show. That's right. I remember oh, Gospel Oh, man. Bill. Gospel Bill. Uh -huh, it was a really <laughs> weird show. Yeah, my dad was a uh, Baptist preacher, and uh, he stopped shortly after I was born, but still, uh, I was I was raised in that kind of a house. So, yeah. Remember the time I was tempted for one of the Christian access... Oh, uh, tempt, uh, tempt for one of the Christian Access Networks here in town during the telethon and learned that Christian cartoons are where famous actors famous go to actors die. Actors go to die. <laughs> <laughs> That's sad. It's kind of true, Well, but it's sad. Um, I just want to turn on the empowerer. Empowerer. Um, <laughs> you get the parts in the right order and put the thing in the middle and it should just kind of go, right? It should, yeah. Yeah. In other words, you get has something to be wrong, in the box. right order. Well, just somewhere you get the right parts. Have all the right parts. I'm gonna hang outside the window. Are and judge you sure? You. No, you don't. All the right. things. Oh, are, all the things are cool. Anything? Nothing. All right. Also, where are you sending the power to all of them, or what? Sending the power to all of them. Okay. 
I think you only need it in the outside ones, but I never can remember. Yeah, I think it's the only yeah, like, outside ones. Yeah. Yeah, all four display stands need power. Yeah. Yeah, valid rest. All charged. Power. Yeah. I remember Jimmy Swaggart had a puppet thing he tried it's to launch for kids, right Muggy or something like that. I had the right. album. I don't remember that, Googas. Um. What recipe are you doing? The Redstonia block. You're trying to empower Redstonia? Yes. Um, so it's red dye and redstone, nether brick, and a clay brick with a red... Reaper's come to save us all. <laughs> oh, he did. Hey, what do you know? I mean, it's in the, it's even in the right, right order. Does it need a redstone signal or something? Two spaces between the stands and the main. Oh, they're too close. Oh, they're too close. Back them up. There we go. That's that gotta, would explain a bit. That's got to be what it is. Thank you, Pops. Our constant technical consultant when we do something wrong. Um, I think you you're stole gonna... my energy relays. I didn't. Preacher. Oh, this is all wrong anyway. I'm nowhere near you. Um. <laughs> hey, Donnie's like, it's not my fault. I'm nowhere close to you. <laughs> uh, um, is this battery charging up? It is. Hey, awesome. This is gaining power. Yep. Awesome. Oh, well, now that, yeah, Preacher's stealing all my stuff. He's got a magnet on, I think. Well, tell him that in text. I mean, he's watching the stream, but, you know, he might have audio off. Maybe we should talk bad about him. <laughs> I think his wings look funny. Huge bat ears, too. I wasn't going to say anything, though. Okay. While they try and get that fixed, I'm going to come down here and try and figure out something to do. Um, we are in the last, oh God, a uh, part of the landscape disappeared in the last, oh, 15 minutes of the live stream. And, uh, we have a lot of stuff. Let's see. Squeezer, carpenter, thermionic, thermionic, thermionic. Let's see. We still have a whole bunch of vodka sitting around and <laughs> I do need to make a pool. Um, oh yeah. Place better. Um... Tractor compressor, centrifuge. Uh, actually, no, we do use that for other stuff. Pulverizer, electric furnace. Okay, um, let's get this. Throw it back in the system. I'm gonna toss that back in. Sir, you keep stealing my things. <laughs> uh, actually, no. Let's do it this way. Stack, please. Okay. Uh, energetic infuser. I'm trying to think. We could do a teleporter system. Put one up in the tower, one back in the B area. Uh, and put another one over here in the front office, but we don't have a front office yet. So I don't know. Okay, where now I'm missing. Well, tell him. <laughs> no, I don't think it's him. I think it's because of the item popping. Uh, turn on your item magnet and fly around a little bit. Okay. Let's go all the way up to the tippy tippy top floor. Tippy tippy tap. What is it? Tippy 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 Um, he <laughs> got it working. He had it. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Is it doing something? Ta da! It worked. Clunk. Thank you. 
Marbly. Let's get some Marbly up in this place. Um, swapping wand. I'm gonna do some swapperino. And I'm gonna start demarking some space. De demarcating? Mark it, mark. There's going to be a, a marketing. Uh, yeah. A marketing! The marketing. Um, down through here. Pink <laughs> in ears, by the way. <laughs> I have the stream on my other monitor. Whoopsie! The whole thing about the ears, I wasn't really serious about that. Uh huh. <laughs> Oh, it's Dark Preacher, he's gonna shoot off. Block. Boop, boop. Okay, let's do some analysis of some bees. Oh, that, that, that was already been analyzed. Marketing. Baby bees. <laughs> what was he trying to do? 10 bits, he was powering up his red matter stuff. Wah! <laughs> Baby bees off. Plus, I can kick ban people, I'm not afraid. Um, okay. Uh, hammer, yeah, exactly. Granted, he could take a massive chunk out of the side of this mountain, and that would make me very sad. But you know, um, let's let's not dwell. Um, gonna do. We don't happen to have any like vanilla. Oh, there we go. This is it. We don't happen to have any vanilla trees laying around, do we? Vanilla, just like saplings? No, actual trees. Game quit lagging. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So, um, a primary idea number one, and uh, let me see if I can figure out where I want to set the level. Actually, well, it kind of has to be here. Um, for oh, box bot left. Yeah, I have to reset my client. Well, aren't you lucky? All the way around here. Actually, not that. That's dumb. Um, and I do kind of want it pseudo uneven. Um, but uh, a lot of this is going to get pushed back. And let's just do. Kabunk. Do this around here, and there's going to be a lagoon kind of a thing. Um, going around this. Um, let's do that. So. Uh, this already looks weird. Doot! Let's turn this back. Like that. And I'm leaving now. Oh, God, no. Gross. Uh, okay. Uh, that needs to be worked on seriously, but this is at least the starter, and I'm going to round it out a little bit more. But the idea was, is that everything below this gets taken out. Um, we have a kind of a, a almost a cylindrical, uh, an oval-shaped cylinder that would go straight down into a large kind of a dome-shaped room in the middle of the mountain. And the dome-shaped room would be the main casino floor. This would be a glass cylinder going straight down through the middle of that, and um, probably like, I don't know, 20 blocks down, this would be all, all be filled wa with water right up to this edge, all the way down to the bottom of that. And we would have the kind of the, the aquarium, the bottom of the aquarium, all the way down at the bottom of there. I think we could do some blocks, like a, a single block that was water and then a little chisel and, chisel and bits water with a little chisel and bits fish. And I could even probably conjure up some chisel and bits goldfish or something, you know, koi, whatever. And we could put some of those in the tank around the normal water blocks. I think that could actually work. Um, this is going to be a main staircase coming straight down here. Uh, right here. Uh, we actually put this here as a, as a note. We're going to have a, a doorway that's going to come back in here. This is going to be from this ridge line all the way down. It's going to go all the way around here. 
probably stop here. This is all going to be either white marble or white concrete or something like that. Uh, will they be koi koi? No, that means they'll be hiding. I don't want to make something nobody can see. Um, also, that's a horrible joke. <laughs> um, uh, so this will all be white concrete or white marble or something with a cool pattern on it. And there will be window here and then a window down here at ground level. We're going to have a door that will take you to into the ground level shop and then stairs up to the second level shop. And we'll just do little mock-ups for things unless people want to come in and set up their own. It could be fun. Um, uh, come back over here. You'll be able to walk across a little bridge. Not this. I want to make a wooden bridge, I think. Some kind of dark wood uh, that kind of arcs up over it a little bit. And you come over here, and there's going to be some stairs that will run up here. There'll be a flat space right here. Uh, we'll probably build a bar or something like that. And some more stairs that will come up to this is going to be a flat platform. We're going to take out all of this stone right here. Um, I think this will be the ground level. Yeah, right around here. Then we'll have some stairs that will walk up here to a little landing and a doorway. And there's going to be a thing that goes straight up here. Um, all of this, all the way up, is going to be replaced with marble, not the whole mountain. Like this part, and this part, and this part, all the way around here. So this this kind of cluster that looks like it's attached to the front of the mountain will be uh, uh, exchanged for uh, marble or something like it. And uh, it will have an elevator. We'll make a line of glass going, glass blocks going right up the middle, and we'll put some hydraulic lifts in there, or whatnot, for different floors. And um, actually, it might be closed in. That might look better. Um, and we're going to have, like, on either side of this, balconies that will actually come out from the mountain. There'll be a half circle kind of coming out from the mountain uh, with some uh, really cool glass kind of uh, um, uh, railings and stuff like that. And these are going to be the quote-unquote high roller suites. They're going to be multi-floor, multi-level rooms, like penthouses, you know, with upstairs and crazy stuff like that. Um, the high roller rooms, he's going to be all the way over here. And then we're going to have a really big penthouse suite up here on the top that's going to be probably three floors and be really crazy. But um, this is the kind of stuff that I was actually talking about that I really wanted to build. Bye. Bye, Gravel. Um, so this is going to be a really big build, and we're probably going to start building more stuff off camera because we, while we do not want to go too quick through this, we don't want it to take three forevers. So, yeah. Um, we will recap you on anything that we do build off camera, I promise. Swearsies. And we'll explain everything to you. Um, but it might be a thing that starts happening here soon. Um, just, you know, stay, peel, uh, stay tuned. Keep your eyes peeled and whatnot. Okay. That looks better, but I still need to cut this off. I'm not going to do it now, though. Actually, no, I need to keep that. Ooh, never mind. Meh, it'll work. It'll be fine. Pool right here, and probably another pool over here. I don't know. One will be a lap pool. Um, Mr. Eridani, what kind of progress have you made on the bees? The bees. The bees. Okay, I've stuck a forest queen and a meadows uh, drone into one of these apiaries so I can get some crossbreeding going. <laughs> Okay. Slowly descending. Neural. Dun dun dum. Okay. That's <laughs> where the boss sleeps, so scram. Yeah, exactly. Um uh, yeah, we're gonna we want to have a really big office suite at the top of the office building up there. Um, Box is gonna design something, and uh, I want to do a lot of those uh, the penthouses and then the or not penthouses, but the high roller suites and then the penthouse or two of them right across the top. Oh, somebody was sleeping. Hang on a sec. I wasn't paying attention. No. Now I'm gonna make him get it back in his bed. Um. 
So yeah, I think it could be really cool having a lot of that overlooking that top valley area. Um, I think it'd be really awesome. So you have crossbreeding on bees going already. Yep. Hot bee on bee action. Wait a minute, where? Oh man. Uh, the industrial air area down here. Oh. Bottom middle. Oh, okay. Oh, there's bees everywhere. Forest queen. The draw already got chewed yeah, up. Yeah, consumed. So, okay. This is a perfect time to go over real quick before we end the stream. Um, light upgrade. Internal lighting, energy consumption, plus 5%. But basically what this means is, is that this does not need exposure to sky, I think, right? Or... Yeah, open sky. Uh, you need upgrade. the open sky upgrade. So this basically means it's always daytime inside the box. And it's always open sky inside the box. And then there is genetic stabilizer. Uh, minus 100% genetic decay, but it doubles the energy consumption. Which is okay. It's only using 49 RF for tech. Yeah, yeah. And then automation upgrade. So it will get drones and loop it back in and just go on its own. Really good combo. You get these four... And you can go a long ways with bee experimentation on this. You just let these things run constantly. And uh, it is, it's really, really good. Really good stuff. Um, uh, so, yeah. Industrial apiary. It's going to be awesome to see a whole bunch of these things getting used. And then we just have C21 forest drones in that one. We have 10 meadow drones there. 11 meadow drones. I think... Here we go. The marshy bees are not making really good numbers for themselves. They're really slow. Yeah. They're the slowest workers. What is, what is it called? Fertility? I think it's a stat called for fertility that determines how many drones you get per shot or something like that. I think so. Something yeah. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Okay. Cool. But, I mean, we're making progress. We've got bees and bee stuff, which means soon we can start branching out into career bees. And when we do, we will go over it. Step by step on what kind of bees do what, et cetera, et cetera. There is a career bee we're shooting for that generates RF per tick. And uh, yeah, yeah we, we, we really want that one. What's it called? The engineering bee? I think so. Yeah, no, the uh, energy bee. Energy bee. Oh, yeah. It's just a blunt name. There we go. Um, energy bees. Poison frame will speed up production of bees, says Pops. Yeah. Mm. I've, I know very little about the frames. I'm frame ignorant. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, you expanded. We needed more machines. Oh, these are Gen yes. 3 machines. Advanced Mutatron yes. and Mutagen Producer. They use so much power, though. It's stupidly insane. That's Mutagen Producer is probably using a couple thousand RF per second. Okay, I thought I dumbed the numbers down on these. They must have gotten reverted at some point during dev. I will have to you double check, but yeah, it was like do a piece of redstone, and it was like, oh yeah, power. What's that? <laughs> yeah, okay. Then that means uh, with the next update, we'll probably see some numbers get reduced on that. I will have to look at it because they're supposed to get dropped. Uh, they're sp those were supposed to get dropped significantly from their default levels. Okay, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, let's see who's paying attention here, real quick. Boom. Uh. Thank you very, very much for a Thursday night live stream. There's going to be a tomorrow, Friday afternoon live stream. And it is going to be more creative work on our second casino out in the ocean, Compass Bay. And uh, I cannot wait to actually uh, show off some of the progress we made on that since last week. Uh, our preacher says, in game. Gah! Um, uh, so, yeah, we're going to work on that 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. tomorrow. Um, I have been so busy this week with trying to resurrect uh, a slightly broken Coop Life server. I haven't had a chance to plan uh, a movie night, but there will be one. Yeah, there will be one tomorrow night. I just don't know what movies. It's probably going to be some B-grade sci-fi claptrap because I love that stuff. Um, worst case scenario, it's Godzilla movies. But yeah, uh, we're going to be doing something 8 p.m. tomorrow over on Rabbit, rabb.it slash Vagrum. Make sure you send me a friend request beforehand if you want to join. Otherwise, I will catch you folks later. Have a good one. Have a good weekend if you do not join the live stream tomorrow. And we will see you later. Bye. Bye. Boop. <laughs>